Alrighty then, welcome back to the channel. Start trying to knock some videos out. Right, my van's been off the road for ages because that pipe split. Uh, I didn't really film it because it I wouldn't have been able to film anything. I was in the way. It's basically an horrible job. There is a heat shield to go back on, which I found when I put it all back together. So I may well put the heat shield on. But in the meantime, my viscous fan is literally hanging out there. So I've just ordered a new coupling, which comes with blades. It does turn, but flipping out from cold, it barely turns. So what we need to do is I think it's basically front end off and from what I remember we struggled to get that radiator coupling there out, it's one of the ones with a little metal cap. Um, so I think what we ended up doing was uncoupling this side and folding it out the way. But first I think it's grill, a box I want to say. Headlight slam panel, bumper, possibly crash bar. Don't know. All right, let's get some tools and start taking stuff apart. Okie dokie, so it's 425s across the top of the grill, and the grill pops off. Then this metal panel that goes under the headlights and up this side. There's a bolt which goes through the headlight. I had to cut that one there because I couldn't get that bolt out. And then, obviously, see on the other side. And then you just need to push the middle tab down and it unclips off the bumper. Um, then two teeth, uh, a T30 in the top of the headlight. And there's two more underneath on this van. One is an Allen key. Yeah, I think we lost some. And try and replace some of this hardware because it's pretty crusty. But then there's the 2010, and we're on what 2024 now, so it's 14 years old. Uh, yeah, okay, uh, right. So there's two clips there and there, torx bolt that goes up in the corner, two clips on the bottom. Two T30s in the step and two 30 mils behind the number plate. Uh, I think it just. I want to say it just comes off like that. Right, I've got a fog light, so I've got a unplug them and parking sensors. I think all the wires are on this side. Right, all the electrical connections, sorry, some of the electrical connections plug off this side. They're actually quite easy plugs. Headlight plugs are a nightmare to get off. And then there's one for parking sensors, I think, and one for the fog light. Radiator fan, which is that bit there, is just four Torx. One clamp on his air uh no, it's a power steering cooler, that is. One clamp on a power steering cooler, out the way. Um, I think this crash bar is going to have to come off, but it is actually really rusty, so I'm going to clean up a bit and stick a bit of rust treatment on it. Um, I think now it's going to be slam panel. Air conditioning condenser. I might be able to make enough space to to get to it then. Uh, it's not like the Merc ones where you can uh, the BMW ones you can take it off and pull the cowl in and the fan off in one go. Uh, well, you can on the X5 anyway. Uh, can I get to that? Oh, I get to that if that's out of the way. And that's the intercooler, the radiator's on top of it, so hopefully the radiator will 
I think for, from what I remember, the, we took the air conditioning one that way, and then the radiator one that way, and that gave us access. But this is gonna have to come off. Yeah, all right. All right, for what I wanted to, you may be all right. I've managed to unclip this cowl in, and I can now see it. The only thing I'm not gonna be able to do is get a gun in there. Uh, I think it's a bolt in the middle. It's like a Torx in, there's a Torx in there. I I've got a little gun. I did something on the, what did I do on the Jeep? Oh, bottom pulley went on the X5. I still don't think that's gonna get in there, but if I take off this hose, my air conditioning already leaks at that joint, so it's empty. I might be able to pull this further forward as a complete assembly. Because it's... Hiya! Hiya. Mother in laws <laughs> Right, it's a T50 bolt in the middle to get it off. And what I managed to do is put a Stilson on the shaft. Um, there's a bit of bearing down. <laughs> It's come off the fan when it's exploded. That's the back of the. That's supposed to be that cover there. But if you look, it's, it's, it's not supposed to move that much. Well, there's an argument for at all. Right, so that's the issue. See you. Yeah, this hasn't been too bad. <coughs> I haven't even had to break the coolant system. And the new one comes with blades. I think to me, I'm sure he said 60. Which is really not that bad. So I'm gonna put, I think a new fan is coming. What time is it? Oh, about 40 minutes. So I'm gonna put some rust treatment on a couple of bits and then basically wait for that to turn up. When it does, turn the stilts in the other way so I can crank on the bolt and... Yeah, because I've done a thing. Kind of bored something else. And the gearbox on the X5 is playing up. I need to service that, but I thought the ideal test is not to go to Birmingham and tow a trailer to Birmingham and back um, well you'll, you'll see what it is um, but it'll look a lot safer on the back of this and on the back of the Jeep don't weigh that much it should be all right but yeah right let's hide some of this stuff inside Tidy my tools up and go from there. Right, we got a new one which doesn't oscillate and it isn't knackered. So slam that on. I think it was 76 and all like that. So I'm gonna do some of the putting back together and then go home. Happy days. Well, it's a lot quicker to go back together than uh, come apart. So, six bolts for the slam panel to go back on, four screws for the radiator, uh, T25 for the radiator uh, fan, and one for that clip there. Um, now we're going to go headlights. Oh no, I might do bumper first actually. Plug all the connections back in, then headlights. Uh, then bumper, then headlights. Or does the bumper cover the... No, because there's a gap. So yeah, bumper first. Right, another 20 minutes, and we're back together. So, bolt, 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 bolt. Number plate back on. Clips down each side. Four screws in each headlight, remembering that top one also holds the top bolt of this. Same on that side. Underneath, remember that the 
this bolt does something as well. Uh, I didn't there you go. Uh, yeah, beautiful. So I'll take this home tonight and um, see if it works. Plug the lights back in, haven't I? Yes. Yes. Okay. Right. Oh, that was helpful. Sorry, there's no. Uh, Dennis, like, I think I started the court to three, and it's half past four. I had to wait for the park for 20 minutes, so not too bad. Right, later, potato.